lot of people do not like images of women that are powerful up on walls. They'll deface them pretty quick. People love to put shit on their face. Horns, dicks, mustaches. Uh, but that's cool, I got more. I keep coming out and I keep pacing up because I think these things still need to be said. We still need to celebrate strong women in positions of power that aren't celebrated because they're not traditionally beautiful. And we still need to tell people to smash the patriarchy and we still need to tell people to shame racists. And that's why I keep coming out and putting things out. And also, it's fun. It is Sunday morning, about 6.25 a.m., 45 degrees outside. We are near the Bowery because I want to paste on the Bowery wall. Uh, Houston Street gets an awful lot of traffic and I want some big, amazing women seen. So I'm going to put up some four foot illustrations of RBG, AOC, Maxine Waters, Harriet Tubman. My name is Captain Eyeliner. I'm a New York street artist. It's when Me Too kind of came out. I wanted to make something to encourage women. I wanted to, I wanted to do something. So I started making stickers that said smash the patriarchy and putting them anywhere, just in case somebody walked by and needed to see it. And then I think maybe stickers aren't enough. And so I start printing out paper because stickers are small, they're easy to remove. And I start printing out paper and I do a couple and I just, kept going. For a long time, if I saw a female represented on the streets, it was because she was really beautiful. It was Marilyn Monroe or Amy Winehouse, and it was one very specific kind of beauty. And there are so many other kinds of beauties, and there's so many other ways to celebrate women and things to celebrate women for. So I started doing a series of women that I thought should be celebrated beyond the physical. I just want these women to be seen. And I'm doing them so big so they can be seen. The thing about printing and pasting is that you need really thin paper and you need it to be uncoated. So that's why I needed to go to a special print shop. Could I, um, could I see it? Where's this going? I don't know yet. You'll see it around. Yeah? Yeah. So hopefully I get them up, I don't get arrested. It's, a, it's well enough of a pace that it doesn't peel down. And then I hope that they're not removed immediately. The last time I pasted up a big Maxine Waters, she was power washed off it within 24 hours. I could do political all the time, but then I'd get burnt out and I'd probably never paste up again. So I bring something funny into it and it's just something that I wanna put out such as a creepy kitty or a bee that's mechanical or, or whatever. And then, as has happened in the last few years, something else political happens and I get really angry and I wanna put that everywhere. This is the Crosby door. It's pretty famous for wheat pasting. There's always new wheat paste from people all around the world. I'm gonna put a giant Harriet Tubman right in the middle. Currently, there's a wheat paste by artist Matt Siren. Uh, it's been tagged over a couple times, so I hit up Matt and make sure it was cool that I paced over it. So these are some of my old Harriet Tubman 20s. I started putting those up when they announced that Harriet wasn't going to be on the $20 bill. I really didn't like the idea of her being erased. <clears throat> I'm an armchair historian. Like I love history, and I think Harriet Tubman is just fucking amazing. She was so selfless and I couldn't stand the thought that Harriet Tubman wasn't going to be on the 20. So I made my own $20 bills, not for counterfeiting purposes, but to have her represented, hopefully keep her in the conversation. Most of what we see of her, she's an old lady, she looks pretty frail, but the Harriet Tubman that fought for the Union Army, the Harriet Tubman that led people north to their freedom was a young woman. She was in her 30s and 40s. So that's why we see a young Harriet here. I have uh, a lot more ladies in mind than I'll blow them up at least this big. 
I'd love to figure out how to go 20 feet high. The bigger, the better. Uh, we have a lot of history to make up for. This is a good spot. I had some Tubmans here before, but they've been ripped down. It's been several months. So I'm gonna put a cat up. If I can find a big ass cat. Ha ha, big ass cat I found. I started figuring out that not everybody looks at political messages or not everybody looks at what I think of as inspirational messages. Like some people just see a critter and that's what their eye is drawn to. So if I can get your attention to a creepy kitty, maybe the next time you see my work, you'll pay more attention to it and then you'll see smash the patriarchy or climate change will kill your baby. We are on Great Jones Street. We're at the door of Basquiat's old studio. We are going to put up very glittery AOC. Uh, I have a Tubman up, but she's been given horns and been defaced. People tend to love the cats. People tend to love the snarky messages, like a half-dead bird with a ribbon out of its mouth that says, don't be a dick. But when I put up images of women that are political, those get defaced more than anything. So there's a couple of reasons that I choose to be anonymous. One of which is, I think when you don't know if I'm male or female, the message can be stronger. Like if you think that maybe I'm a man and I'm putting out dead men don't cat call, I think it has a totally different impact on dudes and probably women too. Also, trolls seem to be really upset when you celebrate women. And I think they're gonna be even more upset when they figure out I'm a female. So I try to stay anonymous because I think it affects the message and also for safety reasons. Sometimes I risk my safety to put up this art because I think some of the things need to be said. I think it needs to be said to publicly shame racists and I think women need to be celebrated and I think I'm in a position where I can put it up and because I am female and because I don't have dark skin, I am safer than other people that could put it up. So I can spread the message with less personal risk than other people. And hopefully my art keeps growing. I don't wanna make the same thing forever. And I don't think people wanna see that. I started wanting to put things that maybe women wanted or needed or could use. And I don't want that to get old or stale. I don't wanna be useless. <laughs>